and thank you for a few minutes of your time. It is always so thrilling to be here with the team from Day of Security. It is absolutely one of my favorite events, and I'm really, really happy to be back with you again, giving you this keynote. I wanted to talk to you because you are the future, and it's so important that leaders pour into the future. So hello, and thank you for giving me a few minutes of your time. Time is of the essence, and we can't waste any of it. So let's dive right into this conversation with you, our future. When I began to think about what I wanted to say today, I thought about the leaders that I heard speak when I first began my career. I was eager for knowledge and wisdom, and I still am. But more than knowledge, I wanted someone to tell me the truth. I knew that the journey ahead would be difficult, and I wanted to know what it was like to lead. What I was essentially asking was, when I have to go into battle, who will fight with me? And when I have to take the road less traveled, will I need a compass or will the North Star suffice? And when I fall short, who will stand with me and for me? Because I knew 23 years ago, I wouldn't be able to do this alone. And I promised myself that if I ever got to this space, I'd share everything that I could in hopes that the road that you are traveling might be a little smoother than my own. So thank you for spending a few moments with me as I have a conversation with you because you are the future. Before I go any further in this discussion today, I wanted to say this, you have opportunities that I only could have imagined. And I'm absolutely thrilled about that. Day of security is the culmination of so many dreams come true, including my own. And I hope that you allow this dynamic group of inspiring leaders to pour into you and that you in turn pour into another so that at some point we are all toasting together. Now let's get into this. I know that I will not always be straddling two generations of incredible women. At 41 years old, I'm a CISO. I'm both Gen X and a millennial. Probably one of the older millennials, but still a millennial. And I have enough experience under my belt to offer advice in hopes that you'll take a few jewels that I give you, tuck them away, because you'll need a lot of treasures in the future. And the first of those is this. The first thing is this. The time is always right now. And I first heard that from Martin Luther King. The time isn't tomorrow. It's not next week, next month, or next year. Exponential change requires urgency. If you're going to change the world, please understand that a leisurely approach will not suffice. Urgency is the reason that I needed to be a VP by the time I turned 40. And when I achieved that, I realized that my urgency wasn't just about me being impatient. It was about, and in actuality, understanding my calling and that I needed to place a charge on my life and that required urgency. You see, I imagined that I might one day find myself in this very moment, in a moment where I would really need to connect. And so that's what I'm doing today. And I hope that you find that urgency in your careers and your lives as well. The second thing is this, do everything before you lose the courage to do anything. And this is why I've thrown my energy into empowering women. I'm a CISO, but I'm also in the business of empowering women. And I needed courage to do this work. While I'm fear still fearless enough to say what nobody wants to say and to say what nobody wants to say, and they're thinking it and courageous enough to know that when I take flight, my wings will carry me. I will not be in this position forever. Why? Because the future is yours. This position is yours. And I hope that I leave it in a better space than I found it. The third thing is this, your legacy will not be defined by what you did for yourself. It will be defined by what you've done for others. I get asked a lot of questions about my career and some days it really does feel like a dream. It has always been a, a whole lot of fun. It's been really fun, but not because of my own successes. I will tell you, there is no greater joy in my life than watching those around me win. I think about the 30 somethings that I started mentoring probably 15, close to maybe 20 years ago. It's been a while. Uh, they, were, they were freshmen in college and myself and my collective gathered together to form what we determined to be a Tiger team. We were gonna mentor these young leaders into the future. And boy, have they done that. They are everywhere in the world doing everything that they're supposed to be doing. It is the future right now happening, coming to fruition, watching those young women and men that I mentored change the world. 
And here's the thing. If nobody ever remembers my name after today, I'll be totally okay with that because my life's work was to permeate the world via those young people. And because I know that when they are summoned, they will call. And in fact, they will never be summoned because they will show up, knock the door down, knock on the door and knock the door down if nobody answers. Here's the other thing about leadership and about the future and about you that you should know. And the thing that I know and the thing that I think that has helped me the most and really helped make me successful. I'm not special. I'm human and I make a lot of mistakes and I often fall short. And I'll tell you, that happens all the time. Yesterday, I had the, the privilege of sitting with a few CISOs in Atlanta and they asked me for advice. Asking me for unsolicited, unscripted advice sometimes is a little bit of a recipe for a disaster. But here's what I said to them. And here's kind of an overview of what I said to them. I dropped the F-bomb. I said, you know what? I have some things to say. There was a lot of flowery commentary happening in the room. And I really wasn't, that wasn't the advice that I wanted to give. You see, I was looking at a crowd of over 200 people and maybe 10% of them are women, were women. Maybe 5% of them were women. And so again, perhaps profanity wasn't appropriate, but I couldn't think of a ton of ways to tell a room full of people that dismantling racism, systemic oppression, it's our responsibility. And I can't think of a lot of ways to tell a few women in a room that being a CISO is hard, I'm exhausted, and today I'm kicking, but not high, and you too will have days like this. And where are the words to tell people that, hey, I flew from Atlanta last night at midnight, and I knew that what I wanted to say to you today was gonna to be so critically important that I needed to offer a charge. And so the words that I'm saying to you today aren't really that different than the words I said a few hours ago. And what exactly were those words? I said this, hey ladies, you better dig your fucking heels in because this, dry, this job requires both gravitas and grace. And I know that as future leaders, you have that. I'm gonna wrap this up because I wanna make sure that we stay on time because time is of the essence. And so I'm gonna really do a quick recap. Here's the thing, you can do this, you've got this. Yes, it will be hard. And yes, you have indeed been summoned. And when you are summoned, please answer that call because there are a lot of women behind you who are also the future. And a part of that future are my family, my beautiful nieces, Genevieve and Ava, and they will be looking to you to pave the way, to tell them to the truth, to connect, and to connect them with them on a level that I may no longer be able to. And I hope that when they come to you, when you are summoned, you answer the call because the world needs you. And if we're going to change the culture, we if we're going to change the future, we have to change the culture. And if you change the culture for just one person, you've done something really important because one woman can change the world. I'll leave you with one of my favorite quotes from Maya Angelou. Success is liking yourself, liking what you do, and like you, liking how you do it. And so my conversation with the future is wrapping up. And I'll leave you with these final words. The future is now. The future is ours. The future is yours. The future is hers. Thank you so much.